Have you ever heard of a bird who saved lives in a war? Well, you are about to. In the annals of history we often come across tales of brave men and women who've shown extraordinary courage. But our hero today isn't a person, it's a bird, a pigeon to be precise. Meet Cher Ami, a homing pigeon who became a war hero. What's up guys, it's Aaron Polo TV. Now you might be wondering how does a bird become involved in a war? Well during the First World War, long before the advent of advanced communication technologies armies relied heavily on homing pigeons. These birds, known for their exceptional navigational skills and their homing instincts, were used to carry messages across enemy lines. Cher Ami was one of these birds. Recruited into the U.S. Army Signal Corps in France, her job was to deliver vital messages from the front lines back to headquarters. She was a part of a network of homing pigeons, each one tasked with the responsibility of ensuring communication in the most challenging of circumstances. But why pigeons? You see, homing pigeons have an uncanny ability to find their way home, no matter how far they are. They can fly at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour and cover hundreds of miles in a single day. In the chaos and unpredictability of war, these birds were a beacon of reliability. So there she was, Cher Ami, a small bird in the grand scheme of a global conflict. She was trained, like many others, to deliver messages, navigating through the danger of the war-torn French landscape. But what set Cher Ami apart wasn't just her ability to carry out her duties, it was the circumstances under which she would prove her mettle. In the thick of battle with the lives of hundreds of soldiers hanging in the balance, Cher Ami would rise above and beyond the call of duty, demonstrating a level of bravery that few could match. Little did anyone know this seemingly ordinary bird was destined for extraordinary things. In October 1918, Major Charles Whittlesey and his men, later known as the Lost Battalion, were trapped behind enemy lines. The Argonne Forest in France, a battleground where the echo of gunshots and the whistle of falling shells were a grim symphony of war. The Lost Battalion, an American unit of over 500 men, found themselves in a dire situation, surrounded on all sides by German forces. The intensity of enemy fire had isolated them, with no means of communicating with their comrades. Their supplies dwindled, their spirits sagged, yet their determination remained unbroken. Major Whittlesey, their commanding officer, knew he had to get a message through to their allies, to inform them of their precarious position. Their only means of communication lay in the form of carrier pigeons. These birds were trained to fly back to their home coop at the divisional headquarters, carrying messages attached to their legs. With this in mind Whittlesey sent out several of these avian messengers one after another, with notes detailing their coordinates and desperate state, but the sky was a battlefield too. The pigeons once released became targets for the enemy. One by one the birds fell, their missions unfulfilled, the air filled with the staccato of gunfire punctuated by the thud of a pigeon hitting the ground. Each fallen bird was a silent testament to the desperation of the men below. As days turned into nights and back into days, the situation grew increasingly desperate. Food and water were scarce, the medical supplies were nearly exhausted, and the wounded were growing in number. The heavy cloud of despair descended upon the men of the lost battalion. Yet amidst the despair, there was a glimmer of hope. One bird remained, a homing pigeon named Cher Ami. Cher Ami, the last hope of the lost battalion, was about to embark on a mission that would etch her name into the annals of history. With all hope seeming to be lost, one bird remained, Cher Ami. With the lives of 194 men hanging in the balance, Cher Ami took flight against all odds. Cher Ami, a homing pigeon with a mission, knew nothing of the stakes, yet the weight of her task was heavier than any bird could ever comprehend. She was no ordinary pigeon but a carrier of hope, a beacon of salvation for the lost battalion. Her wings beat against the wind, each stroke a testament to her determination. The battlefield beneath her was a cacophony of chaos and despair, yet in the midst of the turmoil Cher Ami flew on, her path was not unchallenged, bullets whizzed past, each one a lethal threat. But Cher Ami was undeterred, she had a mission to complete, lives to save. And then, disaster struck. A bullet found its mark, tearing through her delicate body. The pain was immediate, intense, yet Cher Ami did not falter. She mustered every ounce of her strength, every shred of her willpower and continued her flight. She was more than a pigeon now. She was a symbol of hope, a testament to the unyielding spirit of those who refused to surrender. Despite her injury, Cher Ami pressed on, her destination clear in her mind. She had to reach the division headquarters. She had to deliver her message. The message that read, 
We are along the road parallel to 276.4. The journey was grueling, the pain unrelenting, yet with each beat of her wings, Sher Ami pushed through the agony, driven by an instinctual understanding of her mission's importance. Time seemed to stretch on endlessly, each moment a battle against the pain and the odds stacked against her. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the division headquarters appeared on the horizon. With one last surge of strength, Sher Ami descended, landing with a thud that echoed her exhaustion and relief. She had made it. She had completed her mission. The soldiers at the division headquarters were stunned. Before them lay a wounded bird, yet in her beak, she held the key to their comrade's survival. They quickly retrieved the message, their hearts pounding with a mix of anxiety and hope. The message was clear. It was a lifeline, a beacon guiding them to the lost battalion. With this information, they could mount a successful rescue operation. The lives of 194 men were no longer hanging in the balance, thanks to the bravery and determination of one small bird. Against all odds, Cher Ami had done it. She had delivered the message that would save the lost battalion. And in doing so, she had proven that heroes come in all shapes and sizes, even as small and unassuming as a homing pigeon. Cher Ami's bravery did not go unnoticed. Despite her small stature and delicate nature, this homing pigeon managed to overcome incredible odds, carrying a message that saved almost 200 lives. But like any true hero, she didn't escape unscathed. Cher Ami was found severely wounded. She had been shot through the breast, blinded in one eye, and had a leg hanging only by a tendon. The medics of the 77th Division worked tirelessly to save her life, even crafting a small wooden leg to replace the one she had lost. This tiny bird with her indomitable spirit was nursed back to health against all odds. In recognition of her heroic service, Cher Ami was awarded the French Croix de Guerre with palm. This esteemed decoration, typically awarded to human soldiers, was a testament to her bravery and contribution to the war effort. It was a clear acknowledgement that her feat had transcended species, reaching into the realm of universal courage and determination. But Cher Ami's legacy extends far beyond her military decorations. Her story, once it became known, touched the hearts of millions. It served as a beacon of hope in a time of despair, a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Her tale has been told and retold, immortalized in books and film, and continues to inspire to this day. Cher Ami also left a lasting impact on the role of homing pigeons in warfare. Her success highlighted the potential of these birds as reliable messengers, leading to their widespread use in subsequent conflicts. Her body, preserved after her death, now resides in the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., a fitting tribute to her bravery and service. Here she stands as a testament to the extraordinary feats that can be achieved regardless of size or species. Cher Ami, the unlikely war hero, had proven that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. So, there you have it, the story of Cher Ami, the bird who saved 194 lives. This tale, as remarkable as it is, is more than just an anecdote from the annals of history. It's a testament to the spirit of resilience, the power of communication, and the unexpected places we find heroism. Cher Ami, an ordinary homing pigeon, rose to the extraordinary task of saving the lives of 194 soldiers. In the face of adversity, she soared through dangerous skies to deliver a message that changed the course of history for the lost battalion. Her story invites us to ponder on the role of animals in war, often overlooked but undeniably crucial. It reminds us that heroes can be found in the most unlikely places, and sometimes they have wings. They may not carry swords or guns, but messages that save lives. Next time you see a pigeon in the park, take a moment to remember Cher Ami, the bird who became a war hero.